interesting white or grey shapes in the sky? Of course, they are clouds and today we are going to learn about how clouds are formed and what makes them cry. <laughs> that was a joke. They don't cry but they produce rain. So what are clouds? A cloud is a large group of tiny water droplets that we can see in the air. Clouds can contain millions of tons of water. Clouds can also be made of other chemicals. Other planets in our solar system have clouds. Venus has thick clouds of sulfur dioxide, while Jupiter and Saturn have clouds of ammonia. How do clouds form? You hang up a wet towel, and when you come back, it's dry! You set out a bowl of water for your dog. And when you look again, the water level in the bowl has dropped, even though Bingo has been nowhere near the bowl. Where did the missing water go? It evaporated. That means some of the liquid water in the towel or bowl changed into an invisible gas called water vapour and drifted away into the atmosphere. Did you notice that evaporated contains the word vapour? The same thing is constantly happening with oceans, lakes, rivers, swamps, swimming pools and everywhere water is in contact with air. First, the sun heats up the water in seas, oceans, rivers, lakes or snow and mountaintops. Water turns into water vapour, a gas which we can't see and rises up in the sky. This process is called evaporation. High in the sky, above the earth, the air is cold. As the water vapour cools, it changes back into tiny water droplets. The droplets stick to tiny pieces of dust floating through the air. Billions of those tiny droplets together form clouds. In each cloud, Tiny water droplets join together with other water droplets already in the clouds. As more water is added, the droplets get bigger and heavier and fall back to the ground as rain. Rain, snow, sleet and hail falling from clouds is called precipitation. The rain will then flow back into seas, rivers, lakes and the process starts again. range of different types of clouds. The main types include stratus, cumulus and cirrus. Stratus clouds spread across the sky and look like blankets. They can be grey. The word stratus means a layer. Cumulus clouds look like wet puffy balls of cotton. Cumulus clouds are usually less than 6,500 feet above the earth. The word cumulus means a pile or heap. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy, appearing high in the sky. The word cirrus means a curl or ringlet in someone's hair. When cirrus clouds bunch together with other cirrus clouds and turn grey, they form cirrostratus clouds. It means it will rain or snow within 24 hours. We usually think of clouds as being up in the sky. But when conditions are right, a cloud can form at ground level too. Then it's called fog. If you've ever walked through fog, you've walked through a cloud. Fog is a stratus type of cloud that appears very close to the ground. Why are clouds white? Did you know that the sun's light is really made up of all the colours in the rainbow? It's true. When all the colours are mixed together, they give off what's called white light. So why do clouds sometimes look grey? 
when billions of water droplets form, the clouds get very thick. The sun's light cannot shine through, so the clouds will look grey. Soon, the droplets in the clouds will get too big and fall from the clouds as rain. That's why we know when clouds are grey, it's going to rain soon. I'm learning a lot today. I have a really easy water vapour experiment for you to do at home. Take a plastic cup and fill it with water. Use a marker to mark the water level. Place the cup in a window that gets lots of sun. Each day, watch the cup and mark the water line. Watch what happens to the water. You will notice the water level will get lower and lower. Why? Because the sun will turn the water into water vapour and it floats up into the sky. And now we're going to try and make a cloud. Ooh, we're going to try and make a cloud. In this fun science project for kids, you will make your own cloud. This science project is so easy to do. It only requires a few materials and doesn't take too long to do. For this experiment, we will need some blue food colouring, a spoon, some of my mummy's hairspray, a cup of warm water or a jar of warm water, a lid and some ice cubes. First we need to put the ice cubes in the lid because that represents the cold air in the atmosphere. Then put some blue food colouring. So you can see the cloud when it forms. Now you mix it. Now we have to spray a little bit process will have to be very quick. I'm going to do the hairspray and Thomas will put the lid. Now let's see Easy. the clouds form. In our experiment the warm water in the jar caused the air inside the jar to heat up. When this happened some of the water evaporated into the air. Evaporation caused water vapour in the jar. Then the warm moist air water vapour rose from the surface of the water to the top of the jar. Once they reached the top of the jar the warm moist air began to cool down. This is because of the ice that was on the lid. The water vapour in the cooling air then condensed onto the particles of the hairspray forming a cloud in the jar. What happens when we lift this up? Let's see. Look closely. We just created a cloud. It's Isn't that the cool? cloud? That's so cool. So guys, did you like our little experiment? It was fun, wasn't it? I hope you enjoy our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.